To give you a sense of like how vast the power usage is of proof of work, if we were to say take every single hard drive that was shipped this year, all 1.2 zettabytes of storage, and farm Chia on that, that would use about one tenth the power of just Ethereum, not Ethereum and Bitcoin. So it's a significantly much more ecological sound way to build a secure distributed database. And what we're doing is we're having people allocate their unused space. And we like this a lot because once you're done farming, you decide you want to do something different. Unlike everything else, you can take your hard drive and put your family photos on it or a database on it. And all of this is really built to be able to make the kind of programmable internet money that really is the promise of blockchains. Okay. When we look at the world, we see kind of a barbell effect of demand for blockchains. There's, on the one hand, major nation states wanting to do things like central bank digital currencies. And on the other hand, you have DeFi collectives and all sorts of interesting new ideas that are you know, completely kind of grassroots and individual developers making neat new things. We really couldn't start talking about GeoLisp until first we built a blockchain that was more secure and more decentralized. And to give you an idea how much more decentralized, we currently are north of 500,000 nodes. And the largest the Bitcoin network ever got to was about 220,000 nodes. Uh, that gives you a sense of what the farmer interest is and that kind of growth rate. And in fact, we've been adding nearly an exabyte of space every day. Uh, we're just shy of 20 exabytes uh, dedicated to the network. Now we are switching gears to start promoting how powerful Chialisp is and how it does not have all of those things where, you know, on Ethereum you often hear about this swap or that swap losing $8 million this morning. The serious folks who want to do things like bank intra-bank transfers or between bank sure. transfers, they can't have that. So what's your vision? What's your outlook for those business? At the same time next year, where do you hope to be? Well, we certainly think that we are on the way to being as large as Ethereum because we think that we have a better class of applications and more ability to deliver on a lot of the things that didn't happen in 2017. You know, you have governments who have real strategic needs to have a central bank digital currency. Uh, you have markets like the global carbon trading market that right now, you know, it'd be very hard to want to put a uh, carbon credit on something using so much carbon underneath. And, you know, we have a much better story for that. And it's important to note, you know, when we talk about the environmental notes, it, banking's not free. Uh, you know, we have to put diesel in armored cars, and we certainly have to power your ATMs. You know, security costs something. But we've got a situation now where our security costs today about a thousand times less per unit of security than proof of work. And uh, later, as SSDs become the dominant storage mechanism, 10,000 times less per unit of storage than proof of work.